Our next Lewis structure on this list is ammonium ion. Do not confuse, it, confuse this with ammonia, NH3. This is ammonium ion. So ammonium ion is the name of this Lewis structure. Okay, it's picked up a proton H plus to become NH4 plus. So uh, N is happy at five. Hydrogen is happy at one, but we've got four of them. So one times four is four. Uh, for this to become positively charged, it actually has lost. It has actually lost an electron. Removing that electron makes it uh, positive. It's sacrificed an electron. So five plus four is nine. Nine minus one is eight. So our goal here is to get eight valence electrons around the ammonium ion. So our central atom is going to be um, nitrogen because, you know, which of the four hydrogens do you want to be central? It's not. It's nitrogen is central with four outer substituents being hydrogen. So nitrogen is our central atom and it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that is the structure of NH4. Let's look at the formal charge of this nitrogen atom. It's our central atom. So nitrogen, one, two, three, four. Nitrogen is happy at five. One, two, three, four. Five minus four is plus one. So this has a plus one formal charge on that nitrogen. Well, there's a plus one charge on the ammonium ion anyways. So. Um, one, two, three, four, nitrogen happy at five, five minus four is plus one. Octet rule for the central nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the octet rule is steady. Let's look at the outer hydrogens, realizing that this hydrogen is equivalent to the other three hydrogens. They're all single bonded, bonded to nitrogen. So the formal charge for this hydrogen here is one, hydrogen happy at one, one minus one is zero. And then the octet rule for this hydrogen, one, two. The octet for hydrogen uh, is two. The octet rule has a lot of variations and schemes. So um, let's look at the uh, geometry here. So one, two, three, four. Four bonds and zero lone pairs. So four bonds and zero lone pairs. We're going to use our table, or use the table if you're following uh, taking the class here or online, use the table in which the central atom has no lone pairs. Here we got four bonds and no lone pairs. Four bonds with no lone pairs is just like methane in the prior video, and that's going to be tetrahedral. So um, this will be an sp3 hybridized nitrogen. Okay, sp3. That's how we're able to get four bonds. It's an sp3 hybridized nitrogen, and we can draw this as a tetrahedron here. So one hydrogen is here. Uh, one hydrogen is going to come out towards you guys. Uh, one hydrogen is going to come out back. Okay, these are the different substituents, and that will be the structure of NH4. Uh, don't forget the positive formal charge here. Okay, it picked up an H to become a positive formal charge. What I like about tetrahedrons and sp3 carbons and sp3 hybridized atoms is that if you connect the centers of each of the atoms and join them together, able to get a very nice, here you're looking down, you pretend you're on a helicopter on an airplane, you're looking down uh, at the apex of a tetrahedron. So that's very interesting. Perfect bond angles of 109.5 degrees. And this is a nonpolar molecule, okay? It's a nonpolar molecule because, you know, the hydrogens are virtually non-existent in electron pulling power. They are not your electronegative elements like your oxygen, uh, your nitrogen, your fluorine, halogen. So nothing is pulling. This is a pure and simple, a nonpolar molecule. Um, though you can make the argument that the positive charge in the nitrogen is, you know, partial. It's a full, it's a full positive charge. So um, there is some charge to the molecule, but it's not like partial positive here, partial negative there. Now, okay, this is a uh, nonpolar molecule, and that's the structure of ammonium ion. NH4 positive, nonpolar. There's no electronegative pulling by any of the very weak hydrogen atoms, and it has an sp3 hybridized nitrogen. The shape, or the molecular geometry, I should say, is tetrahedral.